who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do as he has made up his mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide with every blessing in abundance, so that you may always have enough of everything, and may provide in abundance for every good work, as it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seeds to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your resources and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for, for great generosity, which through us will provide thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm and the response to the psalm. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stand firm. His justice stand firm forever. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stand firm forever. His might shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia.
Truly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your arms may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by men. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces that their fasting may be seen by men. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by men, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good and all the time we live in a world of modern gadgets. If somebody gives you a gadget in a carton new, what will be the first question in your mind? How to? To use it. God is good and all the time. So the first is how will I use this? Today, the theme of our readings is about giving. You know, giving is so ordinary, isn't it? But it is the topic today. Very explicit in the first reading and implied in the gospel, giving. So Jesus is asking us or is teaching us on the topic of giving. So the question is, what about it? So he is teaching us how to give. How to give. What does it mean to be cheerful? Another word for being cheerful is to be happy. God is good. To be happy. Are you happy as you sit here? Yes. Yes is a mixture of yes and no. God is good. Yes, I'm happy. I'm not sure if I'm happy. Your being here is a gift of yourself. And all you do is also a gift of yourself. But the question is, how do you give? First, the first gift is you. How do you give yourself? Because you are in existence, not only for yourself, but for others. You are always at the disposal of others. You are not there for yourself, 
you are there for others. So how do you give yourself? That is what the writer of the first reading is trying to tell us. That's why they say, God loves a cheerful giver. And so, you are a giver. But what do you give? The first gift that you give is yourself. And so, when my face is, is brown, if I am crying while doing an activity, I am telling people I am not ready to give myself. And at the same time, I want to be in a good relationship with God. And the first cheerful giver is God himself. And if God is that cheerful giver, we, his creation, we are expected to be like him. That's why yesterday's gospel says, you must be perfect as your father. Therefore, you must be a cheerful giver as God himself. In everything you do, in a little service you give, that you ought to be cheerful, however little, however big you give. So when the reading says, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. But all of us, we want something big, isn't it? We want to be given a tiny thing. We want everything big to our satisfaction. But in, on the other side, we want to give very little. Very little means even if you give this whole church and you are giving it grudgingly, it is little. God is good, it is little. But even if you give something like a grain of wheat with a share with the happiness, that thing is bigger than any other big thing. Because you are giving it with the, with the joy, with the happiness. And so that's what God receives, and that's what God accepts. But whatever big you give, but in your heart, you are not joyful, you are not cheerful, you are not happy, it doesn't come before God. Even the opportunity we give, Check your heart before giving it. Are you cheerful or you are obliged because your friend is going to throw in the box and you are sitting? God is good and all the time. Does it come from your heart? And do you give it willingly and wishing it to do it, to do it even better? That is the sum of our existence. How to give. We are happy when we are receiving. And we usually say, thanks, isn't it? But are we happy when we are giving? So, so the question is, how do I gift? Write it somewhere, how do I gift? First, how do I give myself? At home, to your family members, in the office, in the church in the service of God. Everywhere you appear, you are a gift. And if you are cheerful, you cause joy in that environment. And that is a gift to God. And so our woes or our troubles are in this. How we gift. Is Sometimes when things are not working, we wonder, I have done this, I have done this, yet I am not seeing any result. But all that you have done, how did you do them? We are challenged that we should do all this with a cheerful countenance, with a cheerful face. Not only a show up, but something that wells out or in and out of our heart. That's why the gospel today is telling us on how we do the alms giving, on how we pray, and on how we fast. All these are an aspects of us giving ourselves.
to people, to ourselves, and to God. We should do all this with joy and cheerfulness and happiness. Then we will be rewarded. But let us not put the aspect of reward to be the first. Let us first work with this instruction without expecting any reward. When we expect a reward, that's why we portray ourselves in the manner the Lord is telling us not to. When I am fasting and I put on the set clothes and the edges of my head, I am expecting a sympathy from people. God is good. And sympathy is a reward. When I am giving something and I call the world with their cameras to tell how I am giving to this poor community and that, I will be praised. And praise is a reward. But all this, the biggest reward comes from God. And that reward is a multiplication of many blessings. And it comes only when we do whatever we do, whatever we gift in secret. Without sounding or calling an attention to people, how many I have helped, how many I have done that, how I pray, I'm very pious, I stand before the church and proclaim, and even sometimes we are tempted, we are tempted to look down on other people whom we consider to be less prayerful. God is good. That is the extent of my trying to call for attention, to be seen as pious, to be seen as a good giver of arms, to be seen as a, someone who passed very well. Today, we are first told, we do all this in secret, because the best reward comes from God and comes when we do without calling attention. So my brothers and sisters, the question remains, how do I gift? How do you gift? First, where you happen to be. Everywhere you happen to be, how do you give yourself? Do you give yourself cheerfully? Or our hearts are full of wounds or grudges? or being compelled to give, but it is not our intention to give. Today, our, the Lord tells us that our success lies in how we give. Because first of all, God is a cheerful giver. Look at all the blessings he gives us freely and with smiling face. You, as his creation, we are expected to do the same. God is good, and all the time, so make a point of being a cheerful giver at all time, regardless of the situation. Thank you. Him is hymn number 318 on page 192. Mungu baba poke asada kaye tuleo Twa kutolea kwa jina la mwa nao Ya beli na Ibrahim ili kupendeza Yetu baba ipendeze upoke Yetu poke Dilo fumbo la kuku pendeza la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu la baba na mwana na roho mta Katifu Johnny wote tutowe sadak yetu leho kwa sifa na utukufu wake mwenyezi mkate huu na divai 
viwe mwili wake kwa heshima ku sadaka tumtole upokee dilo fumbo la kukupendeza la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who, who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Son and I, blessed is your comes in the name of the Lord. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy bear for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, we will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give him thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and his grace, Philip and Yola Archbishop, and his assistant, David Kamau, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Joseph at Kibe, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Hakim number 88 on page 122. Bwana nakuja twende ni kumlaki Bwana Mungu wa majeshi Ziwa sheni nyoyo tukamkaribishe huyu mwenye utukufu Karibu bwana njoo Karibu bwana njoo shinda pamoja nasi Kate mkate wa binguni utulishe we nyenja wewe ndiwe mwanga sisi tu vipofu tufanye tuone tena karibu bwana njoo karibu bwana njoo Shinda pamoja nasi Wewe ndiwe njia tutakufuata tumrudie baba yetu Wewe ni ukweli utuangazie tusije tukapotoka Karibu bwana njoo Karibu bwana njoo Shinda pamoja nasi Wewe ni uzima sisi tu wagonjwa twakujia utuponye Tumwende nani tukilemewa kitulizo chetu wewe Karibu bwana njoo Karibu bwana njoo shinda pamoja na si Wewe ni mzabibu sisi tumatawi tuungane siku zote Jimwe akutambua tuongoze mali shoni Karibu bwana njoo Karibu bwana njoo Shinda pamoja nasi Bado tunjiani ya dumu imani Tumaini na upendo Saya kufa kwetu tupate kuona Uso wako wa rehema Karibu bwana njoo Karibu bwana njoo Shinda pamoja nasi Anaekula mwili wako na anywa damu yako Anaishi ndani yako ye hata ku ami lele Yesu wangu naku omba nishibishe na mwili yo na yo damu yako ninywe japo sista ili mimi ndani yangu mokozi yumo kwa mwili na damu yake ni rafiki yangu kweli Namisit 
Tom Waja Kamwe Yesu Wangu Naku Womba Nishi Bishe Namuilio Nayo Damu Yako Ninue Japo Sister Ili Kuja kutuokoa Tulioku wadhambini Kwa kifo chake salabani Na ekatu pauzima Yesu wangu naku Nishibishe na mwilio Na yodamu yako ninyue Japo sista ili mimi Pray after Holy Communion, Soul of Christ, sanctify me Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O poor Jesus, hear me. Within thy woods, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from thee. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. I bid thee to come unto thee, that with the angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Before we pray, there is an announcement here. On Thursday, which is tomorrow, June 22nd, Father Geoffrey Wakanyi will join us for, thurs for Thanksgiving Mass. Let us prepare to appreciate him with our gifts. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of life. And following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in peace and love of Christ. Have a beautiful afternoon. Thanks. Our recessional hymn is hymn number 31 on page 103. All to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his praises daily live. I surrender all. Surrender, I surrender all, all 
You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Capuchin TV. The only Catholic TV. The only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Caption TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Caption TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV. Hekima University College, a prestigious constituent college of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa run by the Jesuits, has scaled up the heights in offering lucrative academic courses to scholars committed to visionary and ethical professionalism that spurs greater social transformation. The Hekima Institute of Peace Studies and International Relations is offering a six-day intensive and accredited certificate course in conflict resolution, peace building and reconciliation. The 18-hour online course Kahoot will commence training on Monday 26th of June and complete on Monday 3rd of July 2023. Enroll now and expand your knowledge in contextual analysis of the African conflicts. Africa political systems and conflict resolution mechanisms, the challenge of terrorism, religion and interreligious dialogue, practice skills in engaging with social political conflicts in Africa, reconciliation mechanisms and social change as well as case study analysis in groups. Join Hekima University College and interact with great minds and instructors atop the list of teaching experts. Apply today and join a spectrum of fortified national and international peace and reconciliation protagonists 
serving in governmental and non-governmental organizations. For requirement details and how to apply, visit our head offices at the interjection of Joseph Kangede and Gong Road in Nairobi or call us on 0729-755-905 or 0733616865. Hekima University College, we are the creative vision bearers, preparing students beyond the fourth industrial revolution. Trust all mini insurance brokers to plan and place your insurance needs. We are a project of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, established in 1997 to offer insurance brokerage, risk management and financial services to the Catholic Church and the general public. Our mini insurance brokers, they have been working with us a 